Hi, welcome to Costco.vim. What Costco does is help you insert comma or semicolon at the end of your lines. In this case here I'm using a JavaScript file to demonstrate it, but it pretty much works in any file, any text file at all. And for this example I'm using the key combination of comma and semicolon, but of course you can map it to anything you like. So let's get down to it. Suppose you're here inside this array declaration and as we know the last item doesn't need a comma so if you have a, an extra comma there and anywhere in the line you are you can just press the key combination of your choosing and it will automatically remove it to you or say by mistake you had a, a, a semicolon here and again you, have, you are in any place in your line, any column. If you use Costco, it will automatically convert it to you. The same works for like argument declaration list. As you can see here inside parentheses, it works pretty much the same. If I press it, it will not add anything because it's the last one. But in this case here, if I had a semicolon, it will correct. If I didn't have anything, it would add for me and so on and so forth. And it also works for when we are not inside any delimiters at all, like the brackets or the parentheses. For example here, there's a comma missing, and then if we press the key combo, we have our comma. And here, since it's the last one, it will automatically know and add a semicolon for us. And it works both ways too, where we can start from here and then add here. If we are inside a method where we should end our lines with semicolons, then the same thing. And say for example, uh, well, and another good use case is for example, we decide to, instead of adding this variable here inside this, the method, if we add them, we decide to add them here. So we don't want the semicolon there anymore. We should just add comma. So previously we would go all the way to the end of the line, delete and add our comma, or I don't know, maybe just use the R and replace, but anyhow it would involve going to the end of the line and doing some kind of action. And what we can do now is just paste our line and anywhere our cursor is, just hit the key combo and it will automatically convert to the right thing for us. And the other way around works too, of course. If we have this here and we want to just have it here, then it will fix it for us too. And one more thing that's worth mentioning, this works both for insert mode and normal mode. So you can also be typing something and then add your semicolon and then your cursor would stay in the insert position. Another thing that Costco really shines is when we for example, we're calling another method and we need to pass an anonymous function, for example. And here we are with the cursor in, in between the curly braces. What we usually would do is to get out of the insert mode, go to the end of the line, add the semicolon, then come back to the callback body definition and then start typing again. But with Costco, we can just hit our key combo and then it would automatically add a semicolon for us and leave our cursor between the curly braces and in the insert mode so we're ready to start typing our body. Uh, another thing that it's aware of is property definitions inside a hash for example like here. If we didn't have the comma here we could easily add it then again everywhere in the line we might be. And here it's a little more clear uh, as you can see, there's a comma missing here, so we can just easily add one and remove the last one. The same for array definitions. There, as you can see, there's a comma missing here, so we can add it. If we try to add to the last one, it won't. And it works both ways too. If we add it first to the last one, it won't add. And then we can try to the second one, it will work flawlessly. And then again, it's the last one here, so we don't need that comma. That's all, the plugin is really on its early life, so I invite you all to help contribute.
to file bugs, to write code, issue pull requests. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Enjoy the plugin.